All right, y'all, it's slick, calm, and sunny out here. Ain't nothing better to do, especially this time of year with all this pretty grass and all. I'll shoot y'all, I'll show you some drone footage in the video too. But uh, nothing better to do than sight fish these chunks. Another good one there. We've seen a bunch of decent sized slot fish. That's a pretty skinny one there, but not as big as that one from this morning. Right here on the crawl. Let me get him in the net. He's got 100 pounds of salad. Oh my god! That's what you call the good stuff there. Oh, a whole bunch of grass. That's what they like. God, it's a gorilla. He's somewhere in there. That is a stud right there. Fatty too. Damn. Just sitting right off there, right off the bow, flipped it to him, he jumped on it. That's all there is to it. A game of good cast, not many of them, but make a good one, you won't have to make many of them. All right, where's that? I think he came off. <laughs> <laughs> there he went. My crawfish is somewhere in here. <laughs> see if I can find a damn. Oh, look, there it is. Just comes with the redfish. But if you're not in this, especially in the springtime, probably not in redfish. Now we're going to drop it right on their face. Way up in that stuff. Oh, there he goes. Oh. Another one right here. They put it right on their nose. It gives them two choices. They either run away or they eat. More often than not, they'll just eat it because they don't really care. Throw a new bait on here real quick. I'll tie this up and I'll show y'all what you gotta do. That's pretty much one of my favorite things to fish because it's one of the easiest, simple, straightforward. I just got it on 50 pound braid here. I usually don't like using that unless it's like a tournament or something, you know, I'm trying to keep them, keep them alive. But uh, here, let me show you that. Slayer hook with that little weed guard on it. Now I know y'all are probably concerned about the steel and all that. It doesn't matter. We got straight 50. These fish don't care. They're either going to eat or they're not going to eat. When there's a lot of grass, I'm doing a lot of just flipping, putting it six inches off their nose. This is what I like because I can get it, get it straight down in front of their face, jig it if I got to, or swim it. And that, that little steel section right there is just enough to keep the grass off. It just streamlined, goes right over it. I'm going to throw a crawfish on here. And uh, it really doesn't matter what crawfish we're throwing today. Seagulls are happy. But um, I just I just like that black, any blue and black or anything like that. We're gonna slot it on here. I really like the white too, just cause you can see it so well. But when you don't have to worry about seeing your bait and you could get it just right in their face, it's hard to go wrong with a black one just like that. And it doesn't matter the knot or anything, tie whatever you want, but uh, what, it, what I'd say to do, if you're kind of new to this, get just some 30 pound braid on a bait caster, something you cast really well, flipping and pitching, and uh, put you like a six foot, 20, 25 pound mono or fluorocarbon leader. Cause you're never get a refusal with that leader on there. And uh, you know, it'll, it'll allow you to cast a lot better than straight mono or straight fluorocarbon. If not though, I mean, sometimes I'll throw straight fluorocarbon too. Straight 20 pound fluorocarbons like wire. You're not gonna break that off, but. Like I said, 50 pound, 
and I got kind of a heavier action rod here. This is a medium, more like a more like a medium with a faster tip, kind of like a medium heavy backbone. Zook rod, pretty solid rod there. It's a little long for me. I like them shorter just because I'm so damn short. I tend to hit the water sometimes when I'm flipping. But uh, something, whatever you're comfortable with flipping and pitching and you get it six inches off their face, you're gonna catch them every time. It's another eight pounder. Nice. <laughs> Damn, that is, oh my God, he must have that. Another one, another stud. Came in right at nine pounds. Some freaks out here today. I gotta let him go with a matrix tag in him. Oh yeah, he's going now. Yeah. Just let him go. Let him go. Yeah, let him go. There you go. Nice job. Just leave it right there. Those are coming. God, they don't know what to do. They just keep coming. Reel it, reel it. Nice and easy. Jig it, jig it. He hit it. Oh, he missed it. He's on it. There you go. Good job. Look. a couple reds and bass on the matrix crawl keeping a couple for dinner tonight letting some good ones go across the camera. Yeah,